Two bike riders hit by cars in the past two days near the same south side intersection. The woman on the left killed Sunday. Then today, a man riding a bike on the right was hit and taken to the hospital. Started to make a right and, and bam, you know, he was right down on the outside of that crosswalk on the, on the white line on, on his motorbike. These crashes raising more concerns about the nearby intersection that the News 4 Jack's I team found to be one of the most dangerous in Jacksonville. News 4 Jax was at Beach and Southside Boulevards today following up on the tragedy early Sunday morning when we got word about the second crash a short distance away. Even the state is involved in trying to make this intersection safer. Two months ago, News 4 Jax told you the Department of Transportation awarded a grant to pay for overtime traffic enforcement at that location and at three others here in Jacksonville. Today, police found the car believed to be involved in Sunday's hit and run that killed 34-year-old Summer Black. It's similar to this one on the left, but no word yet if police have also found the driver. It was around noon at Beach Boulevard in Killarney Drive. And I come up to the stop sign. I stop behind it like you're supposed to do. And I eased up, you know, uh, twice, looking out there on uh, coming down beach to see when I had it clear to make a right. And it, it, it was clear. And I started to go and bap. You know, the guy was right there. The driver describing the moment he hit a bicyclist. He was just right there. I didn't even see him. That man was transported to the hospital. Not the way you want to start no, or end your day. The way, no, it's not the way you want to do a day. No, not at all. So, I mean, I hope man's all right. The driver says the bicyclist was traveling west in the eastbound lanes. He was going against traffic. This Grove Park resident says he's the person who called 911. But I saw the guy on the ground and I immediately ran over there. He was screaming in pain that his ankle was hurt. His ankle appeared to be broken. There's a crosswalk at Beach Boulevard and Southside Boulevard. This is the location of Sunday's fatal hit and run. 0.3 miles to the west is this crosswalk at Beach Boulevard and the entrance to Walmart. Today's incident happened between that crosswalk and this one, another 0.3 miles west on Beach Boulevard and Grove Park Boulevard. Being that you're a resident in this area, someone who frequents these walkways, are you ever afraid? Always. You have to be vigilant when you're walking down the streets of Jacksonville because a lot of people are on their cell phones, doing their makeup, trying to take selfies and stuff like that. Just basic common sense that you should know when you're behind the wheel. And that report from Zach Lajway, the driver involved in today's crash was not issued a citation at the scene.